start to dive into synthetic versus mineral sure. because I feel like I get that question all the time. Um, talking about how mineral, if you're not flying a lot, it can be sure. better to have that for the boundary layer sure. that will stick to the walls or synthetic and kind of clear up some of the sure. you know, misinformation that you yeah. find with the data in relation to yeah. that. So first and foremost for Phillips 66, as long as there's leaded fuel, we will not introduce a synthetic blend or a full synthetic aviation engine oil. It's great for cars, it's great for trucks, but those burn different types of fuels than we do in our aircraft. So you have to think a little bit, I, I like food, I like to eat, so for me, I gotta think of it in relation to food. So if I go home and if I try to make sweet tea, that tea initially is gonna be pretty hot. I can put a lot more sugar in that tea and not have it played out on the bottom of that pitcher until you go and put it in the fridge. When it cools down, all that sugar falls out. Think of it in relation to lead salts, right? So we're burning leaded fuel. So the lead is only gonna go one of three places when it, whenever you're burning that fuel. Out your exhaust pipe, as a deposit in your engine, or into your engine oil. So the more lead that you can hold in suspension in your engine oil, you drain that oil out at 25 hours if you have a screen, 50 hours if you have a filter, you don't have that deposit on the inside of your engine. Those synthetic blends, when you're burning leaded fuel, don't basically, because the molecules are all the same size on a synthetic in the same chain link, they don't hold those lead salts in suspension as well. Back to the sugar analogy, it, they played out on the bottom. We're dealing with air-cooled engines. So if you have a thin oil film of lead on the bottom of your oil sump, you can wind up inhibiting that heat transfer property. So you can wind up over time potentially having cooling problems. Deposits are the other thing. Deposits, oxidation deposits, things like that can degrade oil much quicker. So for Phillips 66, as long as there's leaded fuel around, we will not introduce a synthetic blend product or a full synthetic. So that's the key with all of our product lines. So whatever that you see in any of our product manuals, with the exception of one product that we have, it's a Victory Diesel 10W40 product. It's designed to be used with Jet A. Different fuel type, that is a full synthetic. So wanted to kind of help clear up that because that is one of the key distinctions with our product line. So our XC 20W50 contains no synthetic whatsoever. Victory AW does not contain any synthetic whatsoever. So to kind of piggyback off of that, all of the data that I've ever read goes back to the mineral oil every single time when it comes to if you're not flying very often it sticks to the walls better it's a stickier oil so you're fighting corrosion we don't fly our planes nearly as often as we drive our cars so all of that downtime mm -hmm. is very critical to keeping rust and those problems from flaring up